Hey guys, it's time for the quadra annual video that no one watches. Well, I watched the first episode of every anime that looks interesting this season. Maybe, you know, whatever you want to fucking call it. Okay, um, we're gonna watch all the anime, we're gonna go on now, we're gonna watch all the anime, I'm gonna go through them, I'm gonna watch the ones that look interesting, or the ones that, you know, I used to watch literally every single one, the first episode. I'm old, I've grown up since then. I, I, life's too short to watch bullshit. Okay, and some of you are gonna be like, Why didn't you watch this one? This is my favorite thing ever. I, immediately off the bat, because I'm not gonna be watching Chainsaw Man. I don't give a fuck. Okay, fuck you, bitch. I am not gonna be watching Reddit X Family Part 2. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not gonna be watching Reddit Psycho 100 Part 3. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not gonna be watching Boku no Reddit Academia 6th Season. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not gonna be watching Bleach. Or as I like to call it, Blue Reddit, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. And I'm not gonna be watching Blue Lock or what the fuck even is this. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not watching any of that shit. We're not watching any of this shit. All of this, you're gone. You're gone. I'm not watching any of this shit. Okay? I don't know what... Okay, Osaka's messaging me. You know, it is what it is. We don't need Twitter open for none of this shit, okay? We're skipping all of this. All of this fucking top shit. None of it's interesting. Or it's all second seasons. Chainsaw Man. Oh, he has a chainsaw for a head. I'll read the manga one day. I'm not watching the fucking anime. Fuck you, bitch. None of this is interesting. Spike's family, least interesting thing ever in the universe. Mob Psycho, I got bored after season one. My Hero Academia, obviously not gonna watch that. Bleach, obviously not gonna watch that. I don't know what the fuck this blue shit is, but it's some fucking football anime. I don't fucking care about that. And this is some second season of something I've never even heard of. Uh, okay, let's now we're now we're into shit that I actually have to look into. What is Kage no Jitsu Ryoku Sha Ni Naritakute? Uh, Great heroes are dia great heroes and diabolical villains are the types of characters that. But oh my god, this this. I mean, you can just tell from looking at it, right? Like this is. I'm just okay. We're not. I I I guess. Do do I have to watch the first episode of this? Maybe. I don't fucking care about Uzaki Shan. It's it sucks. I've already read the manga of this. Uh, fucking Isekai, the sword Isekai. Those might got me to read the manga. Uh, like a month ago. It was pretty good, but I don't feel like I need to watch the anime because I've already read the manga. Um, some third season of something I've never heard of. Shinobi no Itoki. Some bullshit. This doesn't look interesting to me either. Uh, Urusei Yatsu for 2022. I'll watch the first episode of this. Um, something... Is this... What is this? I don't know what I don't know about this, bro. I don't know about this. Being acutely ill, a young girl has spent most of her life in playing Otome games. This is some bitch Otome game fucking bullshit. I, I'll I, I'll watch it just to punish myself, but I'll watch like five minutes of it and drop it probably. You know what? Should we just start? Should we just get going? Let's just. I'm gonna skip the first ones. I'm gonna skip all the ones I'm, that I'm not interested in, or I've already read the manga. I'm gonna get right in on. Uh, fucking, we're gonna start with, with this, with this Urusei Yatsura 2022. Now, just to clarify, I've watched the first, like, seven, eight episodes of the original Urusei Yatsura. Um, my opinion on it was, it's just the same joke for, like, 500 episodes. And it kind of got, it kind of got old. I liked it, don't get me wrong, like, I appreciate Urusei Yatsura, the original. But, um, I also haven't seen Beautiful Dreamer, the, the, the Oshii movie, which I know you might call me a bit of a bitch for not having seen that, but I haven't. One day I'll get around to it. But, uh, yeah, I suppose, I suppose I can watch it as a Yatsua, it's 2022. Um, we'll see how this goes. Well, it doesn't seem to have started yet, I think. I only found I was only able to find episode previews and not the actual episodes, so I guess we're not gonna watch that yet. Okay, next up this fucking thing about the Otome Girl, Otome Games game. I'm the villainess, so I'm taming the last final boss thing. 
This is an interesting genre. It started with that thing a couple seasons ago about otome games. It's like the otome game isekai genre. I guess it's mainly made for women. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Or just people who are into otome games. Um, but it's also kind of parody-ish. It's hard to know what's exactly going on. But I guess it's popular enough to have inspired a, 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 a spin-off in the same genre. It's not a spin-off, but... There's clearly something's going on here. There's some kind of trend. So I guess we're going to watch this and see how the fuck this goes. Not the sort of anime I would normally watch, but I'm going to be honest, it wasn't that bad, the first episode. Um, it's actually not quite over yet, but that basically... Now it's over. Um, honestly, not that bad. Uh, the character designs are kind of boring, but, like, nothing egregious. The voice acting, generally okay. Actually, I was very impressed by one of the performances. Uh, there's, like, this... One of the characters is a talking crow, and the guy does a really good voice. Like, it It kind of sounds like a crow talking. I don't know how to describe it. If you've hung around a lot of crows, they have, like, this raspiness to their call. It's like a kind of raspy nasal sound. And he... He sounds like that. He sounds really does sound like if a crow could talk. I thought it was very impressive. Um, he has a very good voice. Uh, the rest of the show, the art design's kind of meh, the animation's kind of meh, the plot, the writing, it's all kind of meh. But if you're into this sort of thing, like if you want to watch a bunch of cute guys fight over a girl, um, which maybe you do, you know, uh, honestly, not bad. Like, uh, the... I, I think um, the sort of, like, Game of Princes side of it, the sort of, like, playing games with the aristocracy, like, hanging out, like, trying to trying to play different people off of each other, which I assume is kind of where this is going to go in order to... Because, obviously, having played through this Otome game that she is now the villainess of, she knows how she dies and she's trying to avoid it. Um, like, I think it could be fun. I think it could lead to some fun moments. Um, so yeah, while this isn't like a strong recommendation or anything, it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, I, I think, uh, you know, I'd probably give it a, a 5, maybe maybe even a very light 6. Um, next up is Fufu Ijo Koibito Miman. Third year high school student Jiro Yakuin hopes to partner with Sh Sh Shiori Sakurazaka in of the same class in the mandatory couple practical course. In this practical, students must demonstrate that they have the necessary skills to live with a partner of the opposite sex, while presenting a certain level of harmony to the video surveillance that grades them. Unfortunately, random chance has put his slightly subdued self into this practical with the person polar opposite to him, the Gyaro Akari Watanabe. Akari, on the other hand, hoped to be paired with her crush, Minami Tenjin. This is like a bad love comedy, I guess. Also, I should mark this as dropped after one episode. And I'll give it a five. Okay, that's done. Now this next one. Okay, so yeah, I this doesn't look like I'm gonna... This doesn't look good. This doesn't sound like my sort of thing. Sort of love polygon romantic comedy. Generally not something I like, but we'll give it a shot, we'll give it a shot, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I've seen some people on 4chan calling this the, uh, the Netflix art style. Um, yeah, I can't say I'm a huge fan of this Netflix art style, but it's not like all anime looks like this, so, um, you know, I'm not sitting here like, anime shit now. There are a lot, I mean, there's lots of anime this season alone that doesn't look like this. Yeah, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think it might, I don't know what it's inspired by. But this, yeah, I guess this is just what anime looks like in the 2020s, which, eh. I can't say I'm a huge fan of, but I also can't say I, It's not bad enough to make me not watch it, you know, it's just like, eh. I wish they'd pick something more interesting. This show is really not good. I am five minutes in, and I... Already kind of want to drop it. it. The script is really, really bad. But 
I know I've seen shows like this before where the first like half of the first episode is just like rushing through all the setup so you can get to the stuff. So I'm gonna try and force myself to finish the first episode so I can actually get to the main loop store gameplay loop <laughs> where I don't know. Fucking I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. It's not gonna be good. We have suspiciously well drawn feet. There are suspiciously well drawn feet in this anime. This is this is really bad. I'm I'm dropping this. This is like a a two. This is this is absolute dog shit. It's just fuck. I don't even know what to say. It's just fucking dog shit. I didn't even I I I could I couldn't even get through half of the first episode. I'm gonna give it a, th a I'm gonna give it a two. I think it was pretty horrible. No, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a three. It was, okay, not quite, like, it wasn't bad in any unique way. It was just extremely, like, it was bad in very common ways. Okay, next up. Let's just get, don't, don't watch that unless you're a 13-year-old. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Beast, ta pardon me, Beast Tamer, or, this is always funny when an anime has a really short English title and then the Japanese title... Beast Tamer, English title, Japanese title, Yushapati wa <laughs> Yushapati wa tsuisho, tsuiho sareta beast tema, saikyo shi no nekomimi shoujo de da, de, de, I've never, that's, some, that's a French word, it's not Japanese, or, the Beast Tamer who got kicked out of, from his party meets a cat girl from the superior race, bro, what? Okay, fine, I'll watch this terrible isekai with a 6.93 on now. This is my fucking home territory, bro. Terrible isekai with a 6.93? This is where I thrive. Okay. Um, Beast Tamer. We'll get this up right now. And uh, give this a watch. Uh, I suspect uh, it's probably going to be... Fine, but nothing particularly good. I don't think I'll probably end up finishing it. I'm just gonna guess. But, a lot of people on Mal have shit taste. Like, oftentimes when things on Mal have, like, a mid-six range, it's either really bad or, or, like, everyone's stupid and it's actually really good. Right off the bat, I quite like some of these character designs. Not all of them. Some of them are pretty cool. Okay, well, I'll get back to you when I get back to you. This is definitely an isekai sort of thing you've seen before. But, um... Okay, here's... It's definitely a main guy. He's the strongest guy. He's the best guy. And most of all, he's the nicest guy. And everyone loves him. Especially the cute girls who really love him. And, uh... He's the strongest guy. And, and, and everyone loves him. All the kids love him. The only people that don't love him are... Uh, ontologically evil and deserve to be killed or at least brutally injured. Uh, it's that kind of isekai, which is most isekai. However, I'm an isekai optimist. I think that's okay. You know, it's it's fucking fantasy bullshit. You know, it's, it's self-insert fantasy bullshit. I don't really self-insert as the guy or the girl. I'm just here for the ride. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It's anime bullshit. If it has a cute cat girl in it, I'll watch it. And that's what this show has. So I've watched it one and a half episodes. And honestly, it's nothing special. But there's some little bits that are kind of cool. Like, uh, the main uh, cat girl, good cat girl. They they do the thing, the correct thing, where the mouth is a th uh, becomes a three. You know, the cat girl mouth three, three, three... Good. Good job. She has a good personality. She has a good character design. Not bad. Um, the guy... You know, if you're gonna do overpowered cheat isekai stuff, like, what you really... What you really want is... Um, a, a situation where the overpowered cheat is overpowered, at least in an interesting way, which gives it... Uh, a lot of strengths, but also a lot of limitations. Um, uh, or, and this is like, it, both me and Dotes might share this opinion, right? The best ones are the ones where it's not like, Kirito, I'm the strongest guy and I'm going to defeat all the other strongest guys. Those are the worst ones. The best ones are the ones like, Kuma Kuma Bear, 
uh, where it's just like I'm really strong and I'm just gonna help as many people as I can. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be be a be a cool guy and just help people. That's that's sort of the 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 best ones. And this seems to be somewhere in the middle, um, which is fine. So you know I'd probably give this a five if I if I had to rate it. Um, I'll watch anything with cute girls in it. Everyone knows this about me. Uh, and the girls are kind of cute. They're not amazing. They're not. They're nothing too special. But they're not. They're not bad. Uh, so I'll probably watch the first two episodes, and then I don't think I'll probably. It's it's gone enough to keep me watching the episodes that are out right now. And if I had found this after it already finished, I would probably end up marathoning the whole thing. But I think by the time next week rolls around, or it probably tells me when the next episode comes out. Uh, by the time th- three days, twenty hours, twenty three minutes and five seconds rolls around, and the next episode comes out, I'm probably gonna be like, I'm probably gonna have forgotten about it. Is my point. So, if you're looking for a, you know fairly generic but fun isekai, well, it's actually a kicked out of the hero's party fantasy. He's he's not actually an isekai gene, so it's not really an isekai. It's just a fantasy, but it's basically an isekai. At this point, the two genres have kind of melded together. Um, then you know you might you might get some fun out of it if you're if you're like me and you don't mind and you kind of like watching mid isekais then you might get some fun out of it. Um, as for now, I'll give it a, a five. I'll mark it as watching, but I don't actually know if I will ever continue to watch it. We'll have to see. Uh, okay, next up, uh, I'm trying to think of what else to say about this show. There's not really much else to say. Uh, Golden Camry filth season, I have only seen season one, and I honestly didn't like it that much, I know. Normally people agree with me on that take, but, uh, there you go. Okay, it an- looks like another fantasy, possibly isekai thing. This one has an even lower rating, this is a 6.42 on Mal. This is, uh, I've somehow gotten stronger when I improved my farm-related skills. Nomin kanden no sukiru bakkag agetetera... Uh, <laughs> um, Al Wayne, a young man who aims to be a top-notch farmer, has refined his farming skills and finally reached the max level. However, once he has achieved the pinnacle of farming skills, for some reason his life becomes to take a drastic direction. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, I guess we'll watch the first episode of this. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go. Could go either way, honestly. Doesn't look great. Just the art style kind of looks cheap. Kind of looks like it's going to have very bad animation. Which, generally... I'm, oh, this looks awful. The, now that I'm seeing this art style up in, in, in bigger, not just in thumbnail form... Bro, these character designs are bad. Okay, well, I'm... I'm oh, the first thing you see... Oh my god, this is fucking awful! Holy shit! Okay, I pause the video right now and go and watch the first fifteen seconds of the first episode of I've somehow gotten stronger when I improved my farm related skills. Pause the video. I'm gonna give you a chance right now. Pause the video. You're not gonna expect what the fuck you see in the first fifteen seconds. That's awful. Holy shit. <laughs> how did that get how did that end up on TV? Who okayed that? Who was like, yeah, this'll this will get people to watch our show. Put this in the first fifteen seconds. Oh my god, I'm not going to even bother to watch the rest of that. Holy shit, that's an insta drop. I don't think I've ever dropped a show that fast. That is the worst looking thing I've ever seen in any anime. I'm not even joking. That is a two. That is dog shit. I might keep watching it just because it might be funny how bad it is, but holy shit. Okay, I'm assuming you've unpaused now. It has this awful CGI dragon. Just so fucking bad. Holy shit. I've never seen CGI. That they didn't... I don't know. What were they thinking? It, is it even... It almost looks like fucking claymation or something. I don't think it is, though. It just does not fit. It doesn't look like it comes from the same world. It's not even... Self, they didn't put... A, they just... For, like, normally, when you put... Oh, my God. This is so bad. Okay. Let me... Normally, when you put CG in an anime, there are various shaders, right? Shaders that you you use to make your CG um, object fit the anime cell shading art style, right? 
um, because if you think about it, uh, look at this guy's face, okay? Let me show you. So you see, in anime, you normally have two uh, colors for any particular color. You're going to have a, a, or three rather, you have a highlight, a mid, and a, and a low light, a shadow. So like, you have the, the skin, and it just goes shadow, and then like hard cut to normal skin, right? This is not how light works in the real world. In the real world, you know, if you look at like the shadows, if I like open the curtains, Look at the shadows on my face, like there's kind of like a, a, a blending effect, a smoothing effect. The only time you get these sort of harsh lightings is if there's a light, a point source light really close to your face and then you, like, for example, I don't know, I don't know if I can show you in this environment, but that's the, like, anime doesn't have like blended colors or whatever. People's faces in real life aren't just one flat color, but in anime, they are just one flat color. You know, that's, that's how it works. That's part, of, that's part of the animation art style. And so what you normally do is you create a CG model and you use a shader effect to make the colors match the style of animation. For this dragon, they've just not done that. So it just looks like someone drag and dropped a CG dragon into the scene without paying any attention to how the art style would match into an anime. So it doesn't look like the backgrounds, it doesn't look like the foregrounds, it doesn't look like anything. It's very strange. And it's I, I don't believe that this is done for artistic effect. I think it's just incompetence. Um, and immediately, just off the bat, like, you can, just the art style is dog shit. Like, this, this background, I mean, it just looks bad, first of all. I can't really put my finger on it, but it, like, the sort of CG texturing here it's very dull, non-specific, it kind of, like, like doesn't blend together very well, you know, it doesn't feel cohesive, um, but then, uh, it's almost too clean, too perfect, too digital, but then the guy, like, this guy does not seem like he, be he comes from the same world as that background, like, they seem like, like, different, th like, like, this plant doesn't seem like any of these plants, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't look like they're, the, they come from the same universe in any way, um, and the animation, I'm just looking like it has super limited animation where there's like no frames and god the art style. Okay, this is one of the worst shows I've ever actually seen in my life. Holy shit. That's awful. It the 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 way it looks is just so bad. Like the 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 character designs are bad. The 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 the, the character designs are fucking weird and unbalanced and like contrasting colours out the wazoo, weird looking eyes. Uh, on the, the girls, like, the heads are too fucking big for their bodies, like, look at that, it looks fucking weird. They all look short, because their heads are too big, so they look disproportional, so your body, your brain, do you see how they, they kind of, like, they kind of look short, like, they all look like they're really short. The reason is, because they're skinny, with big heads, and the only humans you see who are skinny with big heads are babies, and so, they just look like they're babies. What is this, man? Who's... F this is fucking, uh, like, impressively bad. Holy shit. Okay, that's insane. All right, we're finally getting down to some stuff that I think might be interesting. Kankore, second season of some fucking Kankore show that I haven't seen. We're not going to watch that. It's a second season. And finally, the show that why I started this whole fucking thing. Holy shit. After that dog shit... The finally the show that, that made me want to actually record this video that I've been hyped for for I think three years at this point. Do it yourself. I've been excited for this show for three years. There's like an OVA that came out like like a while ago. It was like a teaser for this show, but it only aired in like cinemas or something. And so it's not online. You can't find it anywhere. I've been excited to watch this show for like three fucking years. I've seen it. Like, the, I, I saw a bunch of, like, Japanese artists on Twitter, like, doing drawings of this. I've been excited for this for years. It's a cute girls doing cute things show about cute girls doing DIY. Has a really interesting looking art style. Um, and it just looks super fucking comfy. So I'm so excited to check this out. Uh, and we're going to do it right now. This is probably going to be the highlight of the season, other than maybe Bocce the Rock. Uh, very exciting times. Very exciting times. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get started on Do It Yourself. This is it. This is the show that will fill your heart with Moe. This is what we need. We stay winning, boys. We stay winning. I'll finish the, the, the episodes and then get back to you. The episode, singular. But five minutes in, six to seven minutes in. Hard yes for me, boys.
it's everything I hope for and more. That was an excellent first episode. I'm so happy about that. I had a smile on my face the entire time just watching it. It was so good. Probably gonna be anime of the year for me. Uh, I don't even know where to start. This, it's, it's much like Robocop. D do it yourself works on every level. Um, has excellent animation, a, a brilliant art style which allows for super expressive animation. Um, it's got uh, just super endearing characters who you want to see succeed. Um, it's got everything. It's funny, it's cute. It's kind of like... The main character kind of reminds me of Yui from K-On. She's got the kind of airhead but Genki kind of personality. You got a Tsundere, which is kind of neat. You don't normally get Tsundere's in this kind of story. But she's done well, don't worry. It's kind of en it's gen generally entertaining and good and cool and epic and fun and kind of Yuri based. Um, senpai Girl, super cool, tomboy senpai girl based, epic, fucking sick, love it. DIY as like a theme, central theme. Fucking good idea, cool. Near future setting for no apparent reason. Sick, love it. Um, everything, love it. The weird, unique environment of the school setting where it's like two schools inside each other. Fucking sick, weird, unique, sick idea. Love it, surreal, kind of funny, good. Based, epic. All the characters, the glasses girl. Fucking cute, great. Moe. Main girl, super moe, clumsy, great, epic, love it, fucking sick. The art style, the animation, super sick. Really using every fucking technique in the book to make these characters expressive. You know, they're not afraid to go off model. If it makes the characters more expressive they're not af and really good, they're not afraid to simplify the character design when necessary in order to... Um, you know, either reflect the character's emotional state, like, um, there's a scene where she's struggling up a hill, you know, pushing a bike up a hill, struggling, her character design becomes simplified, and she sort of goes humped over to reflect her emotional state, fucking sick, love that shit, there's a scene where she, like, there's, there's a, 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 a cut where she, uh, is, like, peeking around the door and gets spotted, and, like, bolts back around the door, instead of just a regular smear, the, the sort of smear, stays around as like smoke plumes and like curls up. It's a really unique fucking effect I've never seen before. And it only lasts for probably like, you know, 0.3 of a second, but it looks, it really adds to the inventive art style. There's tons of little details like that. Like all of these little animation flares and little art style details. The color palette is just beautiful. Um, there's tons of little, little touches of characterization that is what elevates a show like this. You know, compare, like, in terms of... This is exactly what I've been fucking saying about how, like, good cute girls shows mean that you have to nail every level. Like, there's tons of little beats of characterization that are just not necessary. Like, that, like, a lesser director or a lesser team wouldn't even bother to put them in. But they add so much to the show. Like, when um, she's first main character, You Are Serufu, which is very funny, is first handed, like, a, a drill, a power drill. She, like goes, oh, oh moi, like, oh, it's heavy, right? No, like, it doesn't add anything. It kind of is in the background. She's, like, being talked over while she says it, but she, like, picks it up, like, huh, like, something that a human would do if you handed a drill for the first time. Like, oh, that's heavier than I expected it to be. But yes, categorization, good. There's a bunch of little bits like that throughout the whole episode where lots of different characters do this. Even the background characters are, like, well-designed and look like they're going to have, like, some sort of fully fleshed out sort of features to them. It's fucking sick. Best show that I've seen so far. I'm so happy that this lived up to my expectations. Um, I want to support this show. This is exactly what anime should be doing. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna somehow send money to the people that made this show. I don't fucking care. I'll buy a figure if I need to. I'll buy a DVD if I need to. I don't fucking give a shit. I, I, this is the shit I want to see more of. So if it, if then I'm I want to vote with my wallet. Okay, I have a wallet. It's right here. Okay, this is my fucking wallet. I'm gonna vote with this. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it at the creators. Take all of my fucking money. I don't care. I want more. I want more of this. I can't wait for the next episode to come out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I love this show. I love this first episode. Amazing. I'm gonna put some food in the oven now. But strong recommendation. Awkward. It's not. I forgot to mention that. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Uh. 
just a lot of extra things. I'm looking. To, I can. I can buy something. I don't know. I can buy. I can pre-order this Blu-ray for uh, sixteen thousand yen, which is. Uh, I don't even know how much that is, but uh, let me look it up. Sixteen thousand yen to GBP. Ninety-eight pounds. I, w I will do this. I will fucking do this. If I can find an easy way to do it, I will fucking do this. Oh, it's actually even more expensive than that. It might cost me over 100 quid to do this. But I, this is this is how dedicated I am to... This is... I do the work so that you get good anime, okay? It's 13,000 yen for this Blu-ray. I'm getting a lot of different prices. Um, temporarily out of stock. I guess I guess I have to. It's also only from Japan, so I have to pay extra to get it like proxy shipped. But probably by the time the show's over and the Blu-ray is like on actual order, not just pre-order, I will buy this shit. Okay, and this is my promise to you. I don't even have a Blu-ray player. <laughs> I don't even have a Blu-ray player, and I will buy this shit or something. I'll buy a figure or something, something to give the money to the creators because they deserve it, right? This director, I've always loved this guy. Well, I haven't always loved this guy. Uh, what's his name? Kazuhiro y Yoneda. Uh, I love uh, Maho Shoujo Nante Moi Deskara. Uh, one of my favorite magical girl shows ever, uh, which he also directed. Um, the other shows I've seen is... Uh, the only other show I've seen of his is Glepne, which he apparently directed some of, which I really didn't like. But um, his, other, like, his other cute girls thing is Maho Shoujo Nante Moi Deskara. Uh, he also worked on this, some other shows that I don't really care about. Akatsuki to Yona, Akatsuki no Yona, back in 2014, which has a really high rating on Mel. So this might be good. I've never heard of this before. Um, he, he also directed an episode of Tiger and Bunny, so that's cool. And an episode of In Infinite Stratos, that's cool. An episode of... Code Geass Season 2, that's not so cool. Oh, he also directed Kageki Shoujo, which was last season, or last year, which I planned to watch, but then never actually got around to watching. Um, but this is better than any, I mean, this is better than that. I love Maho Shoujo Nante Mori Deskara, and this is better than that. Okay, I'm, I'm super into this right now. If I had a car, I would be Itashaing, do it yourself. Okay, that's how much I fucking, I'm into this sh this show. Okay, I'm, I'm, the hype train is real in my own brain. The hype brain is fucking real. I don't want to watch any other anime, because none of it is going to be as good as that. I mean, maybe Bocchi the Rock? Who knows? But, yeah, I loved that first episode, man. That was fucking, that's some of the best shit. That's the best first episode I've seen in years. Best first episode I've seen in years. Reminds me of the first time I watched the first episode of, like, uh, fucking... What's that one show called? Um, fucking, uh, ah, what are they, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is that fucking show called? Um, Manabi Straight, Gakuen Utopia Manabi Straight. Kind of giving me a similar feeling, because it's like near futurism, I don't know. Great first episode as well, in Manabi Straight. But, uh, okay, there's a, a Gundam show. I guess I gotta keep going, because we're, we're not even halfway through yet, or maybe we are, but there's still more shows I have to get to. I don't want to just spend the rest of this episode rambling about Do It Yourself. Uh, there's this Gundam show, I'm not gonna watch it, because I, I feel like any Gundam fans in the audience are just gonna be disappointed, because I'm not really a Gundam fan, so I'm just gonna skip over that one. Uh, sorry, Gundam fans, we're gonna skip right to Bocce the Rock, which is the second show that I've been excited for this season. Um, and this has a much higher rating than Do It Yourself. It, se it seems to be pretty... I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's watch Bocce the Rock. <clears throat> also, I've been hyped for this for a while. The other thing about Do It Yourself is it's an anime original. It's not based on a manga, which is uh, pretty neat. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to watch Bocce the Rock now, uh, the first episode. And I will, I will get back to you. After watching this, I'm I'm assuming this is gonna be good too. Good 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 times. Two uh, two good anime back to back. Sorry for skipping the Gundam thing, but I I feel like I'm not. I just know I'm not gonna like it because I'm not a Gundam guy. Um, and 
I also don't have the context to like it because I'm not a Gundam guy. It's the same reason I skip second seasons of things, you know? Like, I feel like I've only seen War in the Pocket, which I liked, but, like, I, I that's not enough context to enjoy a new Gundam show. So, yeah. We're gonna watch Bocce the Rock. Bocce the Rock, episode one. Also really good. Um, very fun. Very nice. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. It's kind of hard to go from good show to good show because I'm like struggling to think of things to say that are positive, but funny, good comedy moments, uh, some like two or three uh, flexy, um, weird perspective shots where the animators are just going, yeah, we can animate from weird perspectives with like a bunch of like weird shit going on, weird angles, like, yeah, we're good, we're fucking good, okay, like, I like that. Um, what else? endearing main character, relatable story for me, okay, if you've seen the show or read the manga, you already know, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, just good, just, just solid all around, but funny, I already said that, um, I, I, the characters don't just fall into, like, stereotypes, like, they kind of, they're, 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 they, they're their own sort of thing, you know, they feel like people, sort of, they feel like innovative in some sense, they feel like someone actually had an idea and followed through with it, um, uh, what else? Let me see. Uh, just a lot of, like, neat little scenarios. More comedy-focused than, than DIY was, which is good. I like, I like it. Not, not a complaint at all. Um, I like both. Uh, styles of cute girl, whether it's more comedy-focused or more comfy-focused. I like all of it. Okay. The comedy was generally funny. I think I laughed at every joke that I was supposed to laugh at. Uh, yeah. Just a good show. Just a good fucking show. Recommend. I'm gonna go have some food now. And then I will come back and continue my quest. Uh, and I will not find... that's. This is gonna be the highlight of the video. This is, this is the, the best shows of the season. I'm definitely not optimistic about the rest of the season. Uh... So, you know, this will be the this will be the peak. We get to, we get the two good shows that I was actually looking forward to. This is the thing that sucks, right? Is this is what Digi always used to say when they did these videos. They always used to say, like, oh, you know, you can't I, I have to watch every first episode because I don't trust anyone, man. I don't trust anyone else to tell me what's gonna be good or bad. The thing is, if you actually know about anime, you don't have to trust anyone. You just look at who's working on a project. What studio made it? What people are making it? What genre is it in? What does the poster look like? What does the trailer look like? And you already pretty much know whether it's going to be good or bad. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to watch some... I'm going to chill and take a break and eat some food. Well, ate some food, went on a little side quest. Got this uh, tiny bottle of Coca-Cola. Um, man, I hate going outside. I don't know why I did that. God, that was a stupid fucking idea. Let me explain. No, sorry, tangent from the video here, but... Um... So, ever since I was a kid, I would always eat a meal. Not breakfast, but dinner. Every time I'd eat dinner, I would always have a chocolate bar afterwards. Right? And I've never weaned myself off of this addiction. I'm just programmed in my brain. It just feels wrong if I eat a big meal, or like a reasonably sized meal, uh, if it's like a light meal, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is, this is important, the time of day doesn't matter, it's the size of the meal that matters, if it's a light meal, then I don't need chocolate, if it's like a medium to large meal, then I need chocolate, unless it's a super large meal, in which case, I'm too full. I'm fucking programmed into this shit, Ugh. and I can't get out of it. I tried, I tried so hard to stop eating chocolate, I just can't do it, it just feels too bad, it feels so wrong, so I, and I was finally like, fuck it, and I gave in, and so I was like, I need chocolate right now, so I, had, I was like, fuck, what do I do? I decided I should go to the store, because chocolate is too cheap to order on delivery, you can't just get like one thing, you know, you need to get a grocery, in order for delivery to be cost effective, you need to get as much as possible. Because delivery charges are flat, no matter what, how much you get, you get... It doesn't fucking matter. Either way, I had to go to the store, get chocolate. 
and uh, it was a very stressful experience. I don't recommend going outside. I realised I hadn't gone outside in like, what? A few weeks. Last time I went outside was, the, you know the video I made about that, that movie marathon I went to? That was the last time I went outside. Um, I, I do not like it out there. Uh, it sucks. I don't want to be out there. There's people. They're scary. There's lights and sounds. I don't like them. And there's no anime girls, so why would you ever want to be outside? So, yeah, and then I ended up dipping into the shop and getting a small bottle of Coca-Cola because I watched a movie like a week ago where um, one of the characters drank a bottle of Coca-Cola and the product placement worked on me. And ever since then I've been craving it. And I, was, I thought I was being followed. On the way back from the shop that I get my groceries from, I thought I was being followed. So I was like, to shake this tail, I'll uh, dip into this, this, this corner store with no real plan. I just wanted to double check if I was actually being followed. And if I was, to shake them off, go into a store, which is always a good way to do it because then they either have to come in the store with you in which case it's kind of just, you can see them, you see their face and whatever, or they have to wait outside for you, or they have to just let you go. So, go into a store, and I, I was like, huh, I remember seeing a film. <sighs> Not that good, honestly speaking. <laughs> Looks much better in the film. This was like one pound. That was not worth it at all. For this tiny fucking bottle, but I was like, fuck it. I, I, I dipped into the shop for other reasons, so. Yeah, well that guy didn't follow me. There were other creepy people out there, spooky people, who I thought might try and fuck with me, but they didn't. So, you know, that's the level of paranoia I'm on. Um, <clears throat> let's get back to anime, uh, sure, okay, what's next, Bocce the Rock, that was great, great, <laughs> um, next up is, <laughs> uh, next up is Koku, Koku no Karesu, uh, deep within the inner palace lives a special consort, who does not serve the emperor despite her position, known as the Raven Consort, consort, people have seen her say she looks like an old woman, while others say she looks like a young girl. Stories talk of her use of mysterious arts and how she can take any request, be it death curses, to find lost things. To finding lost things. Caution, the current emperor, goes to visit the Raven Consort with the intention, with that intention, not without knowing that their something, something, the fated the meeting will become a taboo without will overturn history. Okay. Who knows what that means. Uh, just, just tagged with fantasy and nothing else. So, I guess we'll see. This looks interesting. I would not normally watch something like this, but it might be it might be good. Historical fantasy? I mean, I like uh, some historical fantasy Japanese films. Like Ugetsu Monogatari, one of my favourite films. So, uh, yeah, I will, I will check back with you after I watch the fucking thing. I wonder how long this video is. Who knows, but... Probably most of it's me too. I had a fucking ADHD moment where I was like, I was watching the anime and I got fucking distracted thinking about the references from Lucky Star. And so I went and looked up all the fucking references from Lucky Star and read through all of them and watched a bunch of clips. And now and I realized, hey, that probably if I did that means the anime wasn't really that interesting because I got distracted by doing that. So I watched the first episode of Raven of the Inner Planet. Pla 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 holy shit. I watched the first episode of Raven of the Inner Palace and it was fine. It wasn't bad. If you... It's kind of... What is it? It's like... A kind of a... Magical... Little little bit... I mean, it's, it's like a fantasy... It seems like kind of a romance thing. Kind of a Chinese history thing. And then kind of like a Mushishi... Like fantasy mystery thing, but, but obviously no one near as good as Mushishi. 
um, I don't know. It didn't really. It was neither a particularly positive nor a particularly negative experience, but the fact that I ended up going off and looking at lucky, looking, looking through every single lucky star reference on a forum post from two thousand seven probably means it wasn't that interesting, which is the case. Next, actually, one I've been the the, the last one that I've actually been kind of interested in is Akiba Made Sensor. Um, so the, 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 it's set in the 90s, it's set in 1999, and it's about maid, maids in Akiba fighting against demons or something. Uh, what are they doing? I don't know, but, but, but it looks pretty interesting. Uh... I've I've just never seen that. Like norm this is a rare thing for an anime to have an anime that is nostalgic for '90s otaku culture. Like that's kind of interesting. I've, that's that's not happened before, really. Um, not to my knowledge. So I'm kind of interested to see how how they how they pull it off. Uh, so so let's let's go ahead and watch it. <sighs> Yeah, I got distracted. I was like, oh man, I gotta play Too Hot. And then I ended up looking, because I was like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of Too Hot references in, in Lucky Star and in everything else. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should play Too Hot. And I went around looking for translation patches for a while. <laughs> there's not really any, there's none that are complete. Uh, I think I was playing Too Hot 2 at some point. No, I wasn't. What was I reading? Something else. Something else. Something else. I don't fucking remember. But, yeah, I don't know, I should, I should really get back on my visual novel shit. I've been slacking. Uh, um, Akiba made sense, or I gotta go get my headphones. They're over here for some reason. Okay. Akiba made sense. So, um, that was pretty fun. First episode. Oh, there's actually. Oh, there's a post post credit scene. Okay, well, I, there's there's thirty seconds of post credit, so I'm just gonna watch that now. Uh, okay, they don't fight monsters; they fight each other. That was my my misunderstanding here. Uh, it's kind of like a. It's it's a pretty funny concept. I'm so glad this is a comedy and not some, like, grimdark bullshit. Uh, it's like a, a gory comedy, which is... And there's some really funny, like, comedy uh, gore moments in this first episode. Uh, uh, but there's an amazing montage sequence where, where one of the girls is doing, like, you know, like, Walter Gay dances, but with guns and, like, shooting people. It's very funny. Um... I think I like this show. Uh, it's definitely a weird and interesting premise. I got it feels kind of like cinematic in a in a weird way. It almost reminds me of like a like a Tarantino film or something like uh, or maybe some like nineties uh, Hong Kong shit uh, or like nineties Japanese yakuza movie shit, which I guess is probably the vibe they're going for. You know what? Tarantino's very inspired by both of those genres, so it's, that's probably why I got a Tarantino vibe from it. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it's an interesting show. It's an, it's a, it's a interest. I mean, it's a weird ass fucking show, as you might expect. I guess the premise is gang wars, but it's between the different maid cafes in Akiba, uh, in the nineties, and um, yeah, it's just kind of weird and kind of funny. It's like a comedy take on gang wars, it, it between <laughs> maid cafes. It's yeah. It's, I I don't know. I I kind of liked it. it. It's it's wacky. It's out there, but it's funny, uh, and it's doing something original. So uh, yeah, uh, check that one out if if that sounds funny or interesting to you. Um, you may not like it. I you know I'm not gonna say it was amazing, but and I'm I'm the premise is strong enough to make me stick around. Okay, next up, 
um, how far along are we? Oh god. Okay, we have... I'm not gonna watch, like, oh my god, there's so much fucking anime, okay. Um, I'm not gonna watch these, like, shorts. Oh yeah, the new Digi Chara, I forgot about this. Um, uh, let's see, how many of the ones am I actually gonna watch? One, two, maybe, two, three, four, Five. Don't think that one's out yet. So, no, that's no six. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. I have 15 shows to get through. Holy fucking shit. Okay, I gotta do this faster. I gotta be... I can't be making long statements about each of these anime. I have to do 15 more. Uh, okay. Next one. Uh, Mushikaburi Hime. Um, I'm not even gonna read the synopsis. I'm just gonna watch the first episode. It doesn't look good from the thumbnail and stuff, so I'm not expecting anything good, but you'll hear at the end of when I watch the first episode. The lead character of this show... Blonde princess who reads books again a lot. Her second name is Bernstein, so just 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 putting it out there. This girl is canonically Jewish. Not really sure what to think about bibliophile princess. I'm gonna res I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold judgment. Uh, not nothing really happened in the first episode. I don't. Weird, weird show. I don't know. I can't necessarily... I can't say I didn't like it. It was kind of neat. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Nothing nothing really took place. It was just sort of introducing the characters in the setting. And then sort of teasing what was going to happen in episode 2. That, like, something is going to happen. We don't really know what. All very vague. Not really sure what's going on or... But yeah. Uh maybe it says I guess it's just a romance thing. From the description, I guess it's just a, a like a love triangle thing. I don't know. Uh anyway, this is a second season. Uh Futoko no Girudu. Futoko, Futoku no Guild. Here we go. We're gonna watch this. This has an etchy tag, so um, you know, whatever that means. Um, I'm I'm not reading. Really, I haven't read the description. Uh, oh, it's short. Kikuru Madan is a monster hunter with an excellent performance because oh, it's, it's actually long as fuck. Okay, well, that doesn't even work. Okay, I'm just gonna watch it and get back to you. We got, like, 14 shows to get through. I have no time to read descriptions. I just gotta blast through episodes and drop them if they don't look good. Oh, instant. Just instant. I see... Yes. Etchy tag. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, and it has an uncensored version. Okay, yeah, now this is... Yes. Okay. There's one of these every season, no? Like, every season has has one, has a show like this. So does this have booba? Is the uncensored version just straight booba? Yeah, that's booba. Well, uh... Well... Sometimes they're good. Ishizoku Reviewers was good. So, I'll hold my judgement. I think this is gonna be a no for me. I didn't see anything particularly unique about that. It's just an excuse to show booba and stuff. Uh, oh, I should be marking these as dropped. Hold on, I haven't been doing that for a while. Let me go through. Okay, next up. Uh, management of a Novice Alchemist. Shinmai Re... Oh god, that's a long word. We're not even gonna try. Uh, looks like another fantasy isekai something. Doesn't look great. We gotta blast through these. 
I will fucking finish my my job. This is the one thing I do as a service to you. This is my my fucking look. I know no one watches these videos, but I'm sure there's someone out there who depends on me. One person must be like, I'll just watch this video so I can decide what to watch this season. I do it for you, buddy. Buddy? That's not normally in my lexicon. Okay, we're watching this. I think this is the right anime. Yeah, this is the right anime. Okay, let's watch this. We're not going to reach the highs of do it yourself and botchy the rock again. We're in the we're in the bottom of the barrel mal charts now. That novice alchemist show I watched the first two episodes of and it was pretty good. Uh, it was kind of a slice of lifey thing, just following this young uh, alchemist as she graduates alchemy school and moves to the country to open up an an alchemy shop. Uh, kind of a slice of lifey thing, you know. Seems chill. Nothing too special, but I'll probably, you know, this is the sort of thing I generally like. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, next up, Pop Team Epic Season 2. Yes. Uh, Pop Tep Epic. Pop Tep Epic Season 2. Uh, I, I completely forgot that this was even a thing. I, I, I think I liked Pop Team Epic Season 1. I had mixed feelings on it. It was kind of a kind of a, a rocky road. It had, it had its ups and downs. It had some good episodes and some that weren't very funny. But, Pop Team Epic Season 2, let's watch it. Uh, yeah, Pop Team Epic Season 2. Pretty much the same emotion I had when watching Pop Team Epic Season 1, which is, it's not really that funny, but for some reason I just like it anyway. Like, it's just somehow endearing, even though it, it's never that funny. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, next up, when I Furopusu. When I flops. Uh, is that is that this? That doesn't look like the same anime. Hold on. This is this is a different anime. Is it not here on my legal website? My perfectly legal web website. Are we just down so so deep into the list that we're going to shit that no one's watching anymore? Yeah, it's not there. Okay, well, maybe it just hasn't aired the first... No, no, the first episode just hasn't come out yet. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. <sighs> should have checked that before I clicked on it. Uh, also, I should list these fucking things as... I don't even know, what, what am I doing? Make sure to list things as watching and dropped and stuff. Okay. Uh, did that even work? Make sure two episodes. Okay. Next is not Ark Knights. Uh, cool, Kuru Doji Danshi. They are handsome guys who are cool but a little hard to approach. However, they're all clumsy. This this looks a little silly. 15 minute episodes. Oh god, the next one looks really bad. I am not looking forward to that next fucking anime. Okay, let's see if we can find... No, this doesn't seem to exist either. Nope, that's not there. Okay, next is C. Danchi. Uh, let's see if this is on here. Yeah, okay, this is it. Okay, this one does not look good. Looks like a terrible horror anime or something. Uh, housing Complex C. Uh, okay, here we go. Definitely... Wow, yay. Generic horror anime. Yay. You can just see my demotivation from... from is this the dub? Like, who fucking cares? As the opening credits, it says, Produced by Production IG USA and Adult Swim. 
Production IG USA and Adult Swim. Hold on. I now I'm actually curious. What is going on with the production of this show? But this says I mean it says it was produced by Akatsuki. But then no no Studio Akatsuki animated it. Produces production IG. Akatsuki they did high school fleet and other stuff that I and Irodori Melody uh, and then a bunch of stuff that I've never heard of. Oh, Clockwork Planet, I remember that. Um, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> sorry, go. I, I, uh, I'm curious about the production of this show. Is it, is it just an English language show? <laughs> Only English dub available. Yeah. Maybe? It's it's Adult Swim licensed show that only has the English dub available. That's fucking weird. This is a weird ass show produced by... I don't know what's going on with this. An American studio... Like, Production IG USA, which I wasn't even didn't even know was a thing. I guess they've just... Then, like, make a horror anime for us to play on Adult Swim or something. I don't know if the Adult Swim people know that horror anime is never good. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, and then, then the dub, the, the, the shitty American dub anime girl showed up and started talking in her shitty American dub anime girl voice, and that, I, that's unwatchable. Uh, okay, since there's no Japanese version of that, and it also looks like dog shit, I will not be searching out a Japanese version of that. Uh, dog shit dropped, uh, didn't even make it, what, 4 minutes and 56 seconds into the first episode. We're gonna give this a 3, and move on with our lives, never to think about it again. We're getting deep, deep into this shit now. Um, <clears throat> I actually saw this and I was kind of interested in this, like, very slightly. I just thought, huh, that looks interesting, that looks weird. Because it's a Rakugo anime called Uchi no Shisho wa Shippo Ganai. Um, and that's what we're gonna watch now. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, not, not important. Um, right. Uchi no Shisho wa Shippo Ganai. My Master Has No Tail. Uh, and it's a Rakugo anime, which... I, along with every other human being on the planet, loves Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. I think ev everyone who's seen that show can't shut up about it. That's a great fucking show. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Um, oh, is this the rapping? This is the rapping one. Is this the one where they rap? Maybe? Wait, why am I- why do I have a memory of this? Why do I have a weird memory of like a rapping Rakugo show? Did I just make that up? Guys, comment- comments. Did- did I hallucinate this? Does this not- does this like- Something in my mind is telling me there's a Rakugo show where they rap. I- I don't fucking know. It wasn't bad, but the thing about Rakugo is it never translates to English very well. It's a lot of specific Japanese puns and hyper-specific Japanese cultural references. Honestly, it's a miracle how many I did get from that episode. It's pure luck. Uh, I'm not Japanese enough to watch this show. Just I, like I, If I was fluent, then maybe I could watch it and get a lot of entertainment out of it. And I get like about half of the folklore references, maybe most of them, I don't know. I don't even know what I don't know, man. I don't even understand what I'm not getting. Random shit happens and I'm like, is this like a random funny thing happening or is this some folklore reference that I'm not getting? I don't know. It's, look, nothing against the show, just I don't think I'm Japanese enough to watch it. Um, lots of like hyper-specific Japanese references that I don't get. Uh, what does this do? Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna keep watching this show. 
also it just wasn't really that funny i mean yeah i think it would be funnier if i was japanese or if i spoke japanese rather um but yeah i didn't really find it that funny or particularly interesting okay we got uh some more stuff that i'm not gonna watch like a season of yamano susume i'm not caught up on yamano susume um <clears throat> this is gonin wa sore zore uso watsuku um so i guess we try and watch this four friends have secrets they can't tell each other okay it doesn't have an episode out yet so we're gonna watch instead that also doesn't have an episode out yet uh the asmr show After re- it's an ASM- hold on a minute. It's an ASMR isekai. After reincarnating into a dummy head microphone. Holy shit, this may be the best anime yet made. Oh, it doesn't exist yet. That's a shame. Nope, it, it doesn't seem to have an episode out yet. Shame. Uh, I think we're basically done then. Like, is there anything else here that's particular? Oh yeah, Digi Chara. That's the next thing I actually wanted to watch. Uh, but this is it. Digi Chara, Reiwa, Digi Chara. And then... Uh, that's it. Wait, is it out yet? They were no Digi Charrot. Okay, let's go. Exciting! I love the original Digi Charrot, so this is cool. It's very short. Long time no see, Akihabara. Sick. That was cool. It was kind of like the original Digi Charrot, but modernized. Pretty fun. Pretty fun short episode. And with that, we're finally done with all the stuff that is actually watchable. Ugh, fuck, that took a long time. Um, in conclusion, uh, the good ones are the best show of the season is Do It Yourself, followed by Bochi the Rock, and then there's some other stuff that is kind of good, uh, like... Uh, the the fucking that the isekai that I thought was alright um and uh the Akiba made senso that was kind of funny I don't know I I predict I'm not gonna finish a lot of these I think I'll finish Bochi the Rock and Do It Yourself these rest of the ones these rest of the ones the other ones uh, yeah I, I don't know um Pop Team Ethic was kind of cool I guess um, and that was about it. Oh, and Digi Charot was cool. Okay, there you go. There's the anime reviews. There's all the animes for this season. Um, I, I remember it so you don't have to. I've been the, the nostalgic critic. This is a big-lipped alligator moment. We're not watching Chain... We're not watching Chainsaw Mid. We're not watching Mid X Family. We're not watching Mid Psycho 100, and we will definitely not be watching Boku no Hero Academid, uh, <laughs> nor Bleach. B Bleach. We're not doing any of that. And we're not watching Mid Zaki Chan. Yeah, fuck all of this shit, man. Fuck you, bitch. I skipped all this popular anime. So I could just watch the stuff that no one else is telling you about. Because that's what I do here. It's my job. I watch... The, I rem I'm... I'm the nostalgic critic. And I watch it so you don't... <laughs> this has really taken it out of me. This has really done a toll on my mental. It's really taken a toll on my mental, but... Actually, I need a drink. It's too early for me to start drinking. Never mind. The headphones go back on. We don't drink yet. <clears throat> yeah, in conclusion, 
anime is still anime. They're still making it over there in J in Japan. They're still doing it. Nothing much has changed. Some of it's good. Most of it's shit. Uh, it's same same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. You know. What 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 changes? Nothing. Nothing really changes. Uh, and that's that's fine by me. I like the consistency. Nothing changes, but everything changes. Uh, this has been the the. I'm not going to do the nostalgia critic outro again. We're going to not do that. We're going to do it normal. We're going to say goodbye, goodbye everyone. <laughs> don't watch. Don't do what I did. Don't do this to yourself. Um, I'm, I'm looking at looking at pictures of gigantic boobed anime girls. I'm I'm seeing them on obscure basket weaving forums. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And now I guess I'm gonna try and watch Shuffle. Easter egg. No thank you, watch your Shuffle. Exclamation mark. And uh I don't know why. I'm not even particularly interested in Shuffle. Remember when I watched Remember when I got distracted during that one anime and ended up googling Lucky Star references? Um, apparently there's a bunch of references to this show Shuffle. There's also a bunch of references to Full Metal Panic Fu Mofu. Two shows which I haven't seen and I feel like I'm a fake otaku for not having seen them. And for saying I like Lucky Star when I'm not even getting these references. So, I guess I gotta blast through these shows. The thing I actually wanna do Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out a hot take. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go on my my actual anime list right now, and I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna do something that hey, it's not gonna be popular. Not many people are gonna like. Not many people are gonna want to hear this. But I'm gonna go on my actual anime list right now. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop Stella No Maho. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna. It's just not that good, honestly speaking. I've watched six episodes out of twelve. And honestly, I think I would give it a low five. I think I would give it a low five. It's not. It's nothing special. I don't understand the hype. I don't. A lot of people like Stella No Maho for some reason. I don't understand the appeal, personally speaking. Um, man, I what now? Now that I've added all of these airing shows, I am watching a shitload of anime. Apparently. Um. What is this? God, I keep watching new shows instead of finishing old shows. God, this is just, just kill me. Just fucking kill me in my sleep. I still haven't finished, like, half of these things that I started ages ago. At least I finally finished that one fucking... There was this one show that was on my list for literally two years, maybe more, where I watched, like, seven episodes and then never finished it. It was, um... Uh, Ninja Nonsense, Ninin Gashinobuden, uh, which is an early UFO table show that I just never fucking finished, even though I thought it was funny, and I finally forced myself to just blast through the last few episodes, and it was worth it, it was good, but I, yeah, I need to do that for the rest of these, I need to do that, you know, I still haven't finished Yo Camp Season 2, what am I doing, why am I even talking to you, I should be watching that right now, goodbye.